Hi, my name's Aaliyah. You might recognize me from all the sharks on Netflix, but I promise you, I was not always an ocean girl. Let's just say that. Would you believe I used to be terrified of the ocean? I once literally ran on water because I saw a starfish underwater. I was that kid who was hesitant to get into swimming pools because I thought that there might be a great white shark waiting for me. When I was 11, my dad signed me up to get my scuba certification, not listening to any of the fears that I had. I passed, clinging on to him the entire time. And then I didn't really dive again for years. But in high school, I got to take a marine biology class simply because the astronomy class I wanted to be in was full and everything changed. We did a unit on sharks during this class and that one unit pretty much turned my fear straight into fascination and ultimately obsession. I studied abroad in Australia during uni, got my advanced scuba certification on a liveaboard and met the ship's underwater photographer. That was it. That was the moment that I said to myself, I'm coming back to Australia as a professional diver and professional underwater photographer. So I trained up, I got my rescue diver, dive master, did underwater coral restoration, manta ray nighttime eco tours, photo jobs, assistant instructor, and then finally made my way back to Australia. Interestingly, I came back as a master's of marine biology student, which I didn't have on the bingo card. And a few years later into my degree, I actually returned back to that same exact liveaboard boat where I got my advanced certification and met that underwater photographer for the first time. But this time, I was a dive professional and an underwater photographer. That little girl who was running from starfish now runs a shark conservation nonprofit in Australia. <laughs> and is part of a Netflix show traveling the world photographing different shark and ray species. It's all pretty wild considering I thought I was going to be a fashion designer and before that, a dentist. So this is just proof that you don't necessarily need to be fearless to start. I was, like I said, petrified. But you just have to follow the spark when it calls. You don't have to be chosen at birth to be a water woman or waterman in order to care and protect this environment. You can develop the love for it like I did and the only way that's gonna happen is through dismantling fear. So get out there, start learning, and let's, let's protect what we love. And let's discover what we love so that we can protect it. Okay, thank you. Bye guys.